then, so I have been working on rasterizing in Photoshop and I thought I would show you A, why I'm doing it and B, how to do it. So I started um, here with these and let me show you why I was not overly thrilled with that. Now the lighting is bad, but still it's a washed out image. Um, you can see where I removed the black in just a few places, but it turned kind of washed out and it just really doesn't look good at all. So that was not working for me. So then I started playing with it and figuring out, okay, how can I rasterize this in Photoshop to have better results? And so this is the, this is where we're going with this. Uh, this is the image that we're looking for. So this is what I just finished. Um, my dad is kind of like my son's hero. And so he's, my dad is still in a band. He plays at a bar every week. Um, he's just a super cool guy. So this is where we're going, but I'm going to show you, I lost some edges here. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that and I'll show you how to rasterize this. So let's get started. And I apologize in advance. This could be a long video. So, um, I've made a duplicate. This is a picture and this is my dad and he is about a foot taller than me. And, uh, I was taking the picture from below. So that never looks good. So let's just clean up the image and let's change the rotation a little bit. So that looks pretty good. And now uh, let's put a back black background on here. That'll help us when we do the, the background removal. But the first thing I want to do is I want to fix, again, it was just a bad angle. So I do want to fix them up a little bit. So I'm going to go up here into filter, liquify, and I promise you, whoops, let's do it on the actual photograph. Um, I'm not, it, it's going to look significantly different, but this is actually what my dad looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do, I went into the liquify filter. So this is the filter in Photoshop where you skinny people up. Um, and so I'm going to go down here to the jawline. And I'm just going to pull it in like so. And I'm probably going to narrow his face just a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of push in his chin, chin over here. And I'm going to push this up because I'm going to get rid of his neck. And so I do want like a defined jaw and he was turning his head and it just wasn't working for me. So I think that's going to work. I'm going to hit OK. And now we're going to cut him out. So we're going to select any selection tool and I will tell you I am in Photoshop 2020. I do like the features but I am underwhelmed with how slow it is. So let's um, so I chose select subject. So it gave us the marching ants, um, which is the indicator of a selection. And quite frankly, I am going to select in mass, but I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Um, for our purposes, it does a pretty good job. So I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to leave it um, probably the way it is. And I'm going to go to layer with layer mask. And so we now have this layer mask here. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to paint out some of these loose lines that I know are not going to do well. And it kind of bums me out because my dad has kind of wild hair and he's proud of it. So I was hoping to keep that in there, but it just, it's just not working. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm using my black brush. And if I remove too much, I'm just going to hit the X sign. And that's going to bring me back to white. Now, again, I want to clean up these edges. There we go. Because they just don't, they just don't do well. Now I took too much there. So it looks like he's got a zipper. So I'm just going to hit X. So you see over here, it changes my paintbrush from black to white. I'm going to go to white and I'm just going to give back some of that. Okay. 
Now I'm going to hit X again, and I'm going to get rid of this stray over here. Just clean up some of these edges. The cleaner your edge, the easier it's going to be for you to peel. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to go around the edge here. Now, as I mentioned, um, I'm going to get rid of, basically, I'm just looking for his face. So let me make my brush bigger. And I'm just erasing some of this here. Okay, so I think that's going to do it. Now I'm going to go ahead, let me get it on the screen. Put it on the screen. Yep, I think that works. I'm going to apply the layer mask. And I am going to tilt, tilt it just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let me pull that down. So now we've got our background and I am going to figure out how big this is. So I'm going to go to image size and it's 300 resolute pixels per inch 8.27 by 10.213. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to start a new layer. I'm going to create a new document because we want to have our bitmap. Now I've already done this, so I'm just going to hit create. And so we're going to go back over here and we want that layer. So we're going to go command A, command C, and we want the black background also. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste that in. Now I had trouble a minute ago, so let me deselect. And so that's where we were. So now we've got our image up and this is where the magic is going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and rasterize this in Photoshop. But to do that we have to turn it into black and white. So the first thing we want to do is I don't like this gray. It's a little too grayscale for me. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to get my levels and I'm going to just pull that down a little. So, and I think this is what the Remove Black does in Photoshop, if you notice, but I cannot get it to work for me for the life of me. So uh, there you have it. So I think that, and it's actually going to darken it up a little. So let me go. There we go. So you just want to play with it until you find something that you like. So that works. So let me go ahead and merge that down. And I'm going to do one more thing, and that is my contrast. So I'm going to really boost my contrast and give myself a little extra brightness there. Okay, so now this is really giving you a feel and it's kind of craggy, which um, is what I'm looking for. So let me go ahead and merge that down and the rest of this is pretty easy. So we're going to go over here to image mode and we're in grace we're in grayscale right now. So now we're going to do a are we in grayscale? No. Okay. All right. So image I don't remember doing the grayscale, but I guess we could. Okay. So image now we're going to change it to bitmap. We're going to flatten that layer. We've got 300 pixels per inch, so we want these to match. Use halftone screen. There's a bunch here, but we're going to choose halftone screen. Hit OK. Um, I am going to do this in lines. I have tried everything. Uh, I just lose too much when I'm peeling when I use dots. So I'm going to choose lines. 
Uh, this is portrait mode, so I'm going to use 67.5. A zero is a horizontal line, and so I want these lines to just barely be off vertical. So I'm going to choose OK, and it is literally that fast. So that's it. It's done. Um, whoops. I'm going to change that. I'm going to show you these lines. So I, th I think that really is part of the problem in ProRip is that if it's not black that you're removing, unless you make it transparent somehow, which I'm struggling with, it just doesn't give you the effect that you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to Command A and Command C, and I'm going to deselect it. And I'm going to go over here, and I am going to add, so I'm back to our original document. I'm going to add a layer mask, and where I copy that bitmap up here, I'm going to paste that in here. So let me show you that layer mask again. I'm just going to go down here where the paper is and click on layer map. Click on that. That means layer. And now I'm going to choose option on a Mac or, or a alt on a PC, and I'm going to click the layer mask at the same time. And that gives me something to paste it onto. So now, Command V, there's our bitmap. And now all I'm going to do is click on it, and it is a trip what happens. I mean, that is pretty crazy, right? Um, so that is what we're hoping for. And it really, to me, that looks really, really awesome. Um, but I can see just by, let me deselect it. I can tell by looking at it that I'm going to have some issues peeling. So I'm just going to go in and go back over here to the mask and I'm just going to clean some of it up. Whoops. Let me go the other way. So I'm just going to clean up any of these little tiny pieces that I know are going to give me a problem because there's no need to even have them, you know, if they're going to give me an issue. All right, so I think that's looking pretty good. So let me just check up here on the hair. Get those two. All right, let me fit it on the screen. Okay, and so now I'm going to just choose Apply Layer Mask, and that is what we're going to print, just like this. So I'm going to go File, Export as a PNG file, and I'm going to call this dad3.png, save, and now I can go into ProRip. So let's do that, and again, I told y'all it was going to be a long video, so I apologize. Well, actually, um, I have to go through like a, the motions, but I'm going to, I'm just going to do the old one. I just want to show you how easy this part is. Otherwise, I have to save it and import it, so I'm not going to do that. But this is, um, this is it right here. And if you look, I'm not going to do anything to this. I'm just going to print it as is. Um, so I'm going to go over here to my job thing. You'll see that, um, oh, I probably do want to choke on there. I'm going to do one, I think. That That's it. I'm just going to print it just like this. And, um, and you'll see it, it should look pretty good. So then I just go over here and click on it and hit print. So I hope this helped. Um, I certainly had fun doing it, but it was very frustrating until I figured it out. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.